Hi, let's see how to fix the parsec error code 500 503 HTTP error. Are you looking to resolve the parsec error code 500 or 503 HTTP errors? These issues can be frustrating, but fear not. In this particular video, we'll see how we can fix it. So let's see how to fix the parsec error code 500 or 503 HTTP error. The first method is check the parsec status pages, which will inform about stay informed of the future downtime with the dashboards and the notification. Before trying any kind of troubleshooting methods, try to check the server status of the parsec. If there is any kind of maintenance or if there is any kind of ad hoc maintenance is going on, just wait for some time, then you can try again later. The second method is refresh the device. Refreshing your device can help you to clear any temporary glitches or errors that may be contributing to the parsec error code 500 or 503 HTTP error. This simple action can often resolve the minor technical hiccups and restart the normal functionality. Close the parsec application and or any related programs. Power off your device, wait for a few moments and then restart it to clear any temporary issues. Third method is low resolution or the frame rate. Lowering the resolution or the uh, frame rate settings with the parsec can alleviate the ne network strain and reduce the likelihood of the encountering error code 500 or 503 HTTP error, particularly in the bandwidth constrained environment. Open the parsec and clear. click on the settings icon. Go to the host tab. Select a lower value in the resolution drop down. Reduce the BPS value in the bandwidth settings. Save the changes and restart the parsec. The fourth method is check the <gasps> team permissions. If you are using the parsec in the team environment, verifying that the team permissions are correctly configured and prevent the access restriction that may lead to the error code 500 or the 503 HTTP error. Open the parsec and log in. Click on setting or the teams. Find and select the team member to check. Review their permission to change. Click on their role. Pick the new permission or the role and confirm. The fifth method is update the parsec application. Keeping your parsec application up to date is essential for ensuring the optimal performance and the stability. Updating to the latest version is very much essential because if you are using the older or the outdated version, you will face these kind of issues. So what you can do is like you can just open the parsec or you can go to the official website, look for the update prompt button and download and install the update or restart the parsec. The sixth method is disable the antivirus or the firewall temporarily. Temporarily disabling your antivirus or the firewall can help you to determine if these security measures are inadvertently blocking the parsec functionality, potentially leading to the error code 500 or 503 HTTP error. Okay, so try to deactivate your firewall and the antivirus in order to do that for the firewall. Follow these steps sequentially one by one for disabling the antivirus follow these four steps sequentially one by one the seventh method is verify the internet connection make sure that you have a proper internet connection with very good speed and very good bandwidth if you are having a poor internet connection just try to reset your router or the modem or if you are still facing the issue you can contact the internet service provider so what you can do is like you can just check the speed of your internet connection by going to the website fast.com and the eighth method is re uninstall and reinstall the parsec. Uninstall and reinstalling the parsec application can address the potential software corruption or the misconfiguration that may be contributing to the encountered errors. Go to the control panel and go to the programs and features and select the parsec application. Click on uninstall. It will prompt for the uninstall. Once it will prompt for uninstall, click on uninstall. Then again, you can download from their official Parsex website, run the installer and follow the installation prompt. Okay. And the ninth method is contact the Parsex support team. If you have tried all other troubleshooting methods and if you are still facing the problem, you can contact the Parsex support team for further assistance. They are the expertise. They will help you to fix the problem and they will 
and they will give you the better solution okay so that's all about this thank you